Now that we've applied the hair coloring agent to both the Van Dyke and the eyebrows, we have probably about 20 minutes or so of processing time. This is a great time uh, to take advantage and just do any additional grooming that the client might need. We're going to address first, uh, using our clippers, we're going to address any excess hair that might be on or in the ears. Uh, we don't want to be too invasive and really get in there, but we do just want to take anything off of the surface that might be on the exterior of the ear, and then very carefully we can go just to the interior, just as far as our clippers will reach, and just trim down anything extra that might be in there as well. The next area that we're going to address, it deals with, deals with the neckline. I'm going to spin the client around so that you can get a good look at this. Guys, guys who have excess uh, hair on their backs oftentimes don't really know where to, to uh, start and stop uh, their razoring. As, you're, or as they are trimming their neckline up here, we want to make sure that if you're wearing a t-shirt, that you have, uh, that you take it far enough down so that the scoop of the t-shirt doesn't reveal just a thin band of hair there. So we're just going to use our trimmers without a guard. In a very gentle downward motion, we're just going to remove the hair so that it falls below his shirt line. And by taking that down that low, obviously if he were to be wearing a t-shirt now, there would be nothing to actually stick up and out. Another thing that we want to address real quickly is just the center of the eyebrows. We can use just a, a simple little tweezer that can be picked up at any grocery store or drug store. And if there's any excess in the center, we just want to go ahead and remove that. If you apply just a little bit of pressure with your finger, it'll be a little more comfortable for the client. And we're just going to remove the hair in the direction that it grows.